Hey everyone, it's Dinah and we are here for um, for some special teasers and announcements having been released from D23, the second day of D23. Um, yeah, yesterday they, they, they kicked it off with some like like some, some Disney movie stuff like The Little Mermaid and Hocus Pocus 2 and Disenchanted and everything which was super cool and then they also covered some Marvel and Star Wars kind of games coming out too so that was really cool. So this is the second day and I think they're, they're covering more kind of Star Wars movie stuff and also Marvel movie stuff too. So with this one, it should be an interesting kind of selection so i literally just just re refreshed the marvel youtube page now and they've released a, 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 a few different things and also most notably they have they've given us the first official trailer for a uh, secret invasion so yeah i think we can kind of safely say that this is something we're kind of collectively kind of excited for and collectively kind of looking forward to and everything um easily one of their bigger more kind of um more kind of you know, kind of really like highly anticipated kind of kind of projects kind of coming out within the next year. So, yeah, um, I think even story wise too. I think um, we were already been told it, 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 it's it, it, it's it's gonna kind of tie in pretty close to the comics too. It's about like um, a sector scrolls actually infiltrating kind of like like just up to up to the highest kind of positions and highest kind of um, kind of you know kind of um just positions on 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 uh, um within earth and everything like like within the government within agencies and everything i think i've seen like like like, like i think I'm, I'm pretty sure i've seen a shot from the comics before uh, 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 of, uh, of the scrolls kind of did uh, disguised as avengers i don't know if, if it's going to be them pretending to be the avengers or pretend, pretending to be heroes that we know and recognize and everything or if it's just going to be them kind of being like 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 a political kind of infiltration group and everything so um, I'll be curious to see. We've seen the scrolls before, and the last time we saw the scrolls, they were pretty good. They were, they, they were actually um, allies of Captain Marvel and like um, re refugees from the war between the Kree and the scrolls and everything. So I think Captain Marvel kind of showed off like a more kind of innocent, more kind of from freedom fighting kind of side of the scrolls and everything. So I think with this one, I don't know if this one is going to introduce like a new sect of scrolls as villains or if it's going to be something else going on. But no, I don't know. I think um, it's going to be interesting, interesting scene nonetheless. We have Samuel L. Jackson returning as Nick Fury and Ben Mendelsohn returning as Talos as well. And then I think we also have Kobe Smulders coming back as many else i think there's really no telling exactly how many people they could they they can or will bring back but things so some character stuff has really been confirmed for this so it's uh, exciting to kind of uh, get into um so yeah this is the first official trailer for secret invasion so yeah let's see what they got in store Fury? Oh, no. Oh, that is Fury! I think that's Fury. That is Fury. You've been avoiding Earth. But I have He's in Russia? Your help plenty of other times, and you've been pretty content to let those calls go straight to voicemail. Ah, Marie and Fury reuniting. Oh, shit. Yeah, well, this is different. Oh, damn. He's no longer wearing the eye patch either. He's just going full on eye patch or full how on mask off. Oh, shit. What do you mean, how much do you <laughs> Hey, Rody, he's back. Rody's back. Okay. Oh, Everett Ross. Okay. Rody and Everett Ross. We gotta be very careful now. Talos, yeah. Whoa. They've all. Oh, they've all transformed into that one guy. Oh boy. Okay. Olivia Coleman, yeah, she's in this. Olivia Coleman's in this. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Emilia Clark. Alone. And I'm the last person standing between them and what they really want. Who is she playing? Who's Emilia Clark playing? What is that? Oh, jeez. Okay. Hmm. 2023. Yeah, okay. 
That looks that looks really that looks really sinister. That looks that, that looks super sinister. Okay, so they're definitely going for like the whole kind of spy thriller kind of vibes right there. I mean, if you're gonna bring in if you're gonna have a, a series headlined by Nick Fury and Murray Hill among others in like a much more kind of human and grounded kind of platform, I think it, it's definitely going for like, like going for like a really cool balance of like human and kind of cosmic with the whole kind of space stuff and the creek coming down too. So. Yeah, I think with how far we, uh, we, we, with how deep and how far we are, like um, into these characters' kind of lifespans and life experiences, I think that they're, they're definitely kind of well prepared. I think they're simultaneously they're simultaneously well prepared to deal with a threat like this, but then it's like they're still going for the whole vibe of like they have no idea of exactly what they're up against and dealing with a with a threat like this where they can the, the aliens can literally shape shift and cause all sorts of chaos. Um, definitely makes for an interesting story, and I think it's because of that. It's like you know I am still eager to check out the. To, 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 check out whatever the comic version of this story is but then you know the, the trailer alone kind of kind of definitely gives the show its own kind of like um kind of standalone kind of like um the, like its own vibe of the fact that it can actually stand on its own two feet and actually can provide like a great kind of entertainment regardless of whether you of, of, of whether you've read the comics or not so you know it looks super cool it looks so good i think it definitely gives me like winter soldier vibes where again like w with all the kind of um kind of spy stuff going on and like the the whole kind of kind of thriller vibes and then and then and then the drama it gives off and everything it really seems like it's going to be like like an edge of your seat thriller the whole time and and with, with the whole shape-shifting thing with the scrolls too like you know you're not going to go you're not going to know who to trust you're not going to know who's actually kind of doing it like actually real and who's actually there and which of the characters are actually them and everything and i think if, if they are going to reintroduce the scrolls but this time with a new sect that's actually far more insidious and far more sinister and actually has their own agenda this time then that would i think i think that would put like a really kind of interesting spin on things too and i think with talos coming back to you like to, to, like talos having to deal with his own people kind of actually being again them or actually having their own kind of set of rules or plans or whatever and him being the only one that fury actually has on his side that actually kind of has some insight into how well the scrolls can work and everything is going to be um really cool to see and i think i'm just just seeing how this kind of originates too like like seeing what exactly actually leads to this kind of like like to this kind of thing happening like exactly why the scrolls actually take so much interest in earth and why they actually take interest in actually i mean i mean i guess it's not good i think earth has been the battleground for like a lot of different alien invasions and then and like a lot of different alien attacks over the years so i think earth kind of is like a hotspot in, in, in its own in its own right so i think i guess it's, it's not totally unbelievable but then seeing exactly what kind of leads them to, to choose earth for this specific reason too <clears throat> um it's going to be interesting to see um and seeing Nick Fury kind of being able to headline his own series, like um, uh, along with um, Maria Hill too, like like I think the, 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 them two haven't really kind of had much of a chance to shine outside of the MCU. And even then, like when they've shown up, it's been great. And and then they've definitely kind of actually made their mark and you know stolen their own kind of individual scenes and everything. And seeing Maria Hill and Agents of Shield has been nothing short of amazing. But now giving them their own, giving them their own series, giving them their own series that might even actually mimic the kind of vibes that Agents of Shield gives off with its own kind of kind of spy thriller mixed in with the kind of kind of alien kind of cosmic kind of kind of background stuff too i think that that is exactly i think i think that, that it definitely feels like um that, that this might be then the mcu stick because then now i think with this one i think we know from here that, that like um shield is, isn't really no longer a thing but then the post credit to um what was it too? I think I think the post credit to Far From Home actually showed um, that um, the 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 the, the Talos and his wife were already kind of ad adapted to actually living on Earth and actually shape shifting and doing that kind of stuff. So maybe, maybe then this new sector of scrolls is actually learning from that, but then actually doing their own thing and stuff. But then Fury was actually in space building sword and actually helping to put that together and everything. And then when we know that in in One Division that Maria actually kind of helped to actually film, to start the foundations for Sword too. So then maybe maybe they could have worked together in in in, in like her final kind of years or whatever. So there's a lot of questions to be asked but then i think it still kind of gives you kind of like enough of like a gist and enough of like an idea as to what's actually going on here so um yeah but i definitely want to watch that a second time because it was just such a good trailer such a good trailer so i'm gonna watch that like a second time I think he's gone fully mask. He's actually lost the eye patch. So I think he's actually maybe embracing just the way he looks now. He's just embracing the loss of one eye and everything. Yeah. I think he's fully grown, fully grown like a beard and everything too. You've been avoiding Earth. But I have called for your help plenty of other times. And you've been pretty content to let those calls go straight to voicemail. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. 
This is different. So years have passed. The years have really passed with this then. Yeah. How much do you know about your security detail? What do you mean, how much do I know about him? Yeah, Everett Ross is here too, so that's an interesting one. Then Amelia Clark, she's in this too. I think I'm wondering who she's playing. Then Olivia Coleman. Mm. So Ben Mendelsohn, he's actually now in human. I, I, I literally only just registered that. He's actually in human form now. Don't know if we'll actually see more of him as a scroll or not, but he's actually in human form now. You're in no shape for this fight that lies before us. Hmm, and Olivia Coleman in the MCU, that's always a gift. That's just gonna be a gift. This yeah. is just the beginning. This is my war alone. And I'm the last person standing between them and what they really want. Yeah, who is Amelia Clark playing? There's been rumors, which I'll get to in a minute, but who is she actually playing? And what is that? Oh, so the end, yeah, the eye patch and his actual classic coat and everything. Mm. The music, too, the music is really kicking, kicking things up, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think Olivia Coleman is in this, too, so she's um, playing whoever she's playing, and, and, and Amelia Clark. I think there were rumours that I, I, I definitely did see. There were rumours that she might have been playing, like, a recasted Daisy Johnson, which... Listen, if we're gonna get if we're gonna get uh, for, for one thing, if we're getting Daisy Johnson in this, I will fully die. I, I will fully just decease and pass on to the Nether Realm or, or whatever, you know. But if we are getting Daisy Johnson, you know, if, uh, from, from what you, you you brought back Toby Maguire, you brought back Andrew Garfield, you brought back Charlie Cox, you brought back uh, Vincent D'Onofrio. If you can do all of that, you can bring back Chloe Bennett as, as Daisy Johnson. That is not too big of an ask. That's not too much of an ask. And if you can bring the Netflix stuff and the even the other, you know, the Sony stuff back again, you can bring, you know, and I think even then, Agent Shield was on ABC. ABC was is owned by Disney. Like it, it it's not really, it, it's really not that like far of like a link to, to catch back onto and everything. So if you can do all of that, you can bring back Chloe Bennett as Daisy Johnson. So if she is in this, then because I think. I've heard, that, I've heard that she actually does, her character actually does have like a pretty kind of important and pretty pivotal role in the comic storyline for Secret Invasion and all that kind of stuff and, and like Secret Wars and everything too. So, you know, she she does have some pretty kind of important stuff to do in the comics. Yeah, I think her, her, her actual comic presence is actually pretty kind of um, long running and pretty kind of lengthy and everything. And she, and she does, does, does it like, you know, she, 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 does, she does get around a fair bit. So... You know, um, if they do bring her into this, and I, if, if they do actually bring her back in, in, into the MCU with this, then my gosh. So, you know, um, I mean, I've yet to finish Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so um, don't know exactly, don't know exactly how her, her, her journey kind of ends on there, like if she goes on to do something else or if she actually, you know, continues in S.H.I.E.L.D., because then... I don't know, I don't want to think too far ahead about that, but um, but if they are going to bring Daisy Johnson back in this, then yes, please, and also Chloe Bennett, also Chloe Bennett, so thank you, yeah, yes, please, and thank you, so, yeah, um, but Amelia Emil Clark, I mean, regardless, I'm, 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 I'm curious to, to actually see, like, um, how Amelia Clark fits into all the all this doing and then who she plays, and all that kind of stuff, and then Rhodey's back here too, Rhodey, I think, Rhodey coming back here, I think, I think, did, 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 does make some sense too, and even Everett Ross too, like, like, both them kind of being government, kind of, government connections, and figures too, that makes sense, so there's them, and then Olivia Coleman, I can definitely see her play playing someone someone within like some kind of intelligence agency or some kind of secret service kind of position too, and stuff. And I think um, especially Fury kind of being who he is, being like a spy, like a veteran spy, and being like the former director of Shield and all that kind of stuff, and having the connections he has, I feel like he would definitely reach out to other governments and other secret secret kind of agencies and all that kind of stuff. And you know, because I think what the scrolls are doing is very secret and very, very kind of sinister in itself. Like they're they're not going out shape um, like like infiltrating stuff in public. Like the whole point of infiltration is you do it in the dark and in the shadows and everything. So then Fury would have to dip into those same shadows and get stuff done too. So yeah, it's gonna be a wild ride. It's gonna be a wild ride. So yeah. Um, hmm. So yeah, um, that is yeah that was the um, Secret Invasion trailer. So I'm gonna be on my way to check out um, some of the other stuff they released too. Not, not I think not not at, but I think they didn't really release. I think they didn't release many. Like, they haven't released many. Like um, I think it's still early days for the actual movie and and, and, and show kind of trailers. If they, if they have anything to release for that, I think Secret Invasion. This definitely feels a lot more like a teaser than anything else and everything. And, and a really a really well done teaser of that too. So I'm hoping we, we get something similar for this for the other stuff coming out too. I think we have um. 
just doing some some stuff could still be in filming and, and they don't really have much release for it yet so anything they do have i'm more than happy to check out so yeah that will be the rest of the video so yeah that the that, that was the secret invasion trailer so this is something I I, I I have no idea what this actually is. This this is called Werewolf Werewolf by Night. So guess it has something to do with werewolves at night, or even just a were a singular werewolf at night. I don't know exactly what this is meant to be. It, it, it seems to be like a very like like a, like a black and white kind of formatted kind of movie too. So I don't know if they're actually going back in time for this, or if it's going to be just kind of formatted in a specific way. So I have no I, I've never heard of this. So I don't think I've ever heard of this. Um, pretty kind of similar to how I felt about Morbius too. I think Mor 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 Morbius was, was like a name that kind of, for, for I think I, I was I was aware of Mobius because of um, Loki, but then Morbius kind of I think I think was like a, a certain things. So I don't know if it, like like if this is gonna be like be like another kind of super, like a supernatural take by Marvel in that style or in that vein or something. But this is made by by Disney by by the MCU. So there's that. So yeah, well by night let's let's check <laughs> let's check this one out then. Very colourful. A special presentation. A Marvel Studios presentation. Okay. This Halloween, you can't escape the shock, the terror of Werewolf by Werewolf Night. Werewolf by Night. Tonight, oh. it is every hunter for them. Hunters. Whoa. Good luck. I'll be rotting for you. <laughs> I can't believe I'm laughing at that. Uh, I recognize her. I don't know. I, I don't know. Where, I don't know where exactly. But I think she. This is like a Halloween thing. This is a Halloween thing. Okay. Whoa! Seven hands. People dying. Oh, jeez. Is that the TVA? Werewolf by night. Was that the TVA? They had like pruning sticks and shit. Oh boy. Okay, that's interesting. That's a curious one. That 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 really surprised me. I, I, I did not I did not know what to expect besides from werewolves at night, and we most likely got that. But yeah, okay. So like I don't know, like like a, like a group of hunters, and it's Halloween, and they have to survive the werewolf or kill the werewolf or something, or they have to deal with whatever the fuck comes up. And apparently, what comes up is a werewolf. So. That's new. So yeah, I don't know if, 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 if it's gonna. But I think there was nothing to, to to even remotely indicate any kind of marvelness or superheroiness about this. I think I think I, that that might even just be actually one of the things I actually like about the uh, one of the things I actually like about the trailer. The fact that it actually doesn't give off any kind of inherent kind of Marvel vibes. It, it just kind of shows off like a funky kind of like a funky and nightmarish kind of Halloween kind of film or whatever it's meant to be. But um, yeah, it seems interesting. So that's gonna be. Uh, interesting thing. So I might, I might have to actually Google that and see what the actual comic kind of um, thing is for that. But I think again, e even with that, I think it, it still looks like a kind of really spooky and really kind of like like a still kind of like a, like a like a thrilling kind of supernatural supernatural adventure. So yeah, I think there's like a, like a there's like a, like a, like a, some kind of like a, like a like a Frankenstein-y looking body in in like a casket in like a standing casket and everything with like the, the neck severed and like you see the severed line and everything and it was like like a corpse that was talking and stuff and one of the main I think one of the, possibly one of the main characters I actually recognize the actress for um for, for them so that was that, that I think I really didn't don't really don't have much to say much to say about this I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what exactly what the what, what kind of story this entails um or anything so werewolf by night that will be an interesting kind of one to explore too so yeah that will be that will be cool okay so we also I'm, I'm just i'm literally just following the actual d23 kind of um info like the, the whole kind of update thread on twitter and everything so they like they, they've actually announced a bunch of different things too they've announced um stuff for captain america new world order so carl i think uh, carl lumley is returning as isaiah bradley so that'll be really cool he was given a really great kind of ending in um 
in the Falcon and Winter Soldier, so seeing him back will be cool. And uh, oh, so Tim Blake Nelson, last seen in The Incredible Hulk. Oh, him, the scientist dude. So yeah, he uh, is returning as the leader. I think I've actually I've actually seen his name popping up on Twitter a few times. Um, since she since uh, actually since she Hulk premiered, I've actually seen people talking about him. So he's returning as the leader. And I think I've heard that, that, that that's actually like a, like a pretty big kind of Hulk villain in the comics too, like like an actual kind of enemy of the, the dogs and like, and like a nemesis as well. So if he actually does return as an actual villain. Then that would be an interesting thing. So I think, yeah, I think last, I think I, I, I vivid, I vivid because of how much it actually freaked me out. I vividly, vividly remember like, like how, like how we saw his ending in the Incredible Hulk being like some, being some of the blood actually dripping into his head and his head just kind of enlarging to like a large bulb. But then it just cut away and it didn't show whether he died or what happened. So I think I got probably you know like um, comic readers will probably know exactly what he turns into or who he turns into. So now after all these years, he's returning. Um, he will be the main villain in Captain. America New World Order. So that's uh that's him. Yeah, so Tim Blake Nelson training as the leader. So that will be interesting to uh, catch on to. And we have some artwork of the Thunderbolts. That's so cool. We have some official artwork of the uh, of the Thunderbolts. So we have Valentina from Falcon and the Soldier. We have her. We have Ghost from Ant-Man and the Wasp. We have um, Thingy, what's the name? Red Guardian from Black Widow. And of course, the one and the only, our queen, Yelena, um, returning to Black Widow. And then we have Bucky as well. He's, he's joining. And then um, Thingy, Walker, U US agent, and also Taskmaster. I think with the Taskmaster one, I am actually curious taskmaster that has to be a different one that has to be different because then as we saw from the end of black widow um antonia was actually saved by natasha so she was actually cleared of her brainwashing and her mind control and everything so she is she she very likely is no longer taskmaster because i think i think she would not want to be attached to that for any longer so i think this one this one might be the actual real one i think, I think his name is tony masters in the comics i think the actual real taskmaster i think that this one might be the actual real one maybe this is actually even their way of actually introducing him too so then maybe that's how they do it uh, but yeah everyone else we, we already know and love so i think yeah i mean the uh, yeah the, these aren't the, 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 this literally isn't even overtly like a team of actual villains or even kind of other evil people like and I think even even John, I think even John, like I think he did like to have some kind of kind of some like redeeming acts in, in the finale alone. So I think he this um him being US agent might, might even be his own way of actually turning things around. But I think US agent like might yeah, I think um I've heard he he he's still like like a morally kind of grey character all on his own too. But then Ghost was redeemed in the end too. Um, she kind of actually was saved by um. By by um Lawrence Fishburne's character, so she, uh, by her by, by his character, and even even um Scott went into the quantum realm to pick up more particles for Ghost, actually help heal her and everything. So she is kind of more good now. And then of course Red Guardian kind of helped take down the Red Room, so he's good. And then Yelena, of course, she doesn't kill or hurt like um you know innocents or good people. So she's gonna be if she's the leader of this, then that only really makes sense. Can I say, let's be honest? But um, is <laughs> that? And then Bucky, of course, being um being I don't know I mean, if, if he's gonna still be the Winter Soldier or like the White Wolf or something. So is that? And then yeah, so then and then to Taskmaster might be the only like new one, like like maybe like like Tony Masters actually coming out as the real Taskmaster and actually reclaiming his thing or actually reclaiming his identity or something. And then Valentina kind of being the one to being like the kind of you know the the, 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 the Nick Fury of this group actually bringing them all together and everything. So what they actually get up to is going to be a question, and um, but probably not to anyone who's actually read comics and everything. But you know it's still going to be super cool to see exactly what. Um, this whole thing holds in store so yeah so yeah now in terms of star wars news we, we are going to be checking out the season three teaser trailer for the mandalorian so yeah this is something i am uh, very very excited for and very eager to to get into once it comes around and everything um yeah so i think we, we had a couple of um just a couple of um you know mandalorian related episodes here and there in the book of Boba Fett that allowed us to kind of see exactly where his character was going and, and stuff and it kind of started off with him just kind of going back to being a bounty hunter and actually still owning the Darkseer and I think he still had full ownership of the Darkseer until he kind of um and then and until um, well, he I think he still has it I think he, he did he, I think I'm pretty I'm pretty sure he, he still he still he still took it with him but um him having like um taken off his helmet multiple times in the past meant meant that um and having shown his face meant that um you know he he had actually kind of betrayed the Mandalorian kind of code and everything so then he had to actually find a way to actually redeem himself like in the waters of Mandalore where we were all destroyed in the, in, in in the purge and everything so yeah so I think now he's a Mandalorian. 
without a crew and um grogu left the jedi order behind i think he was given a choice by luke to actually stay and study the force or to leave and then spend the rest of uh, to spend the rest of din's life with him and then go back to the force and everything which which, which is what um grogu chose and everything so now they're both reunited and everything so that's cool um but yeah now they're, 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 they're now they are both essentially without like a tribe or without a clan or anything to actually kind of you know to, to, to actually to, to take, take them anyway so now they're going to find their own way around the galaxy once again so yeah well, i think i think now they, 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 i feel like you know like their journey kind of throughout season one and two seems so kind of clear cut and everything and it still kind of offered some bumps and right bumps and some some kind of kind of lightheartedness and everything along the way too like to, to, to some great extent so now i think now i'm all the more curious to, to curious to actually see exactly what, what what kind of trouble they'll get into what kind of new adventures they'll find and exactly what, what kind of new purpose they'll be looking for after everything that's happened too so yeah the mandalorian season three Let's go. Let me restart that and yeah, let's go. This is the one that you saved. You are as its father. Uh huh. A single dad making his way through the galaxy. The clan hmm. Of two. You have removed your helmet. Uh -huh. Then you are a Mandalorian. No more. Mm. He still he still gets to keep his armor and he still he still keep his helmet and everything. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, okay. She's back. Uh -huh. Your cult. Oh. Other Mandalorians. Yeah, okay. Your cult, his cult, the child, the, 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 the watch or something, like the, the night's watch or something. A, a child of the watch, a child of the watch. Yeah. Did you think your dad was the only Mandalorian? No, nah, there's more like the people who saved him. The people who actually saved him back when he was a kid. Oh, damn. Everyone's coming back. Hey! Oh, Babu Frick! Bobby Frick. Hang on. Oh shit. Everybody's coming back. <laughs> oh, I like this. Oh, well, I like that. <laughs> Definitely like that. The Mandalorian. Season 3. Season 2023. Okay, alright. So, no, no official month just yet. No official month. So, we got, um,. Bo-Katan, Bo-Katan is coming back, um, you know, and, um, um, what's his name, Carl, Carl Weathers character, I, I, um, Grief Karga, Grief Karga, the names don't immediately come to me, okay, forgive me for that, the names don't immediately come to me, um, and the, the woman, the mechanic, um, mm, 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 the mechanic, what's her fucking name, I can't remember, um, I, I, I really can't, um, is it Pass? Let me Google her name, because otherwise it's going to bug me and I'm going to keep referring to her as the mechanic all, all, all night long. Peli Motto. Pe that's it. No, not Paz. Peli Motto. Peli Motto. So she's coming back. Um, yeah, so... And yeah, Burkitana's coming back too, and I think, I think possibly with her clan too, with like um, Sasha Banks and um, Simon um, Kassianides and everything, so maybe they're coming back. But then I think then she had a line that, that like, like she, she said, um, you know, like you, your cult destroyed us or something like well, like you 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 your cult destroyed us or you you your cult destroyed everything so um when they first met and they took off their helmets but then he didn't she she did literally kind of describe him as like um having come from like an older cult like an older sect of mandalorians that walked away and everything so he's a child of the watch not the night's watch but he's a child of the watch and everything so like, there's like an, like an older sect of mandalorians with like an older set of beliefs and, and stuff so yeah so i think i think i'm, I'm i feel like we, we might be going back to mandalore too i think i think it, 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 I think it didn't really kind of kind of register to me at first because I, I didn't know what mandalore looked like besides from the persian and everything with everything being on fire being on fire and destroyed and things i don't know what to really kind of make of it or think of it but i think now we actually see like a like like a city and then like a planet like during the daytime and where people are actually going back so i'm wondering if it, i mean wondering if we're going back to mandalore and everything so um the um thingy um the um the, the blacksmith did say like um you know like um in, in, in order to actually redeem himself he has to 
but he has to kind of like kind of sort of like rebaptize himself in the waters of Mandalore too. And then I think he, I think he, he said like um I think I think I think maybe he has to find one or maybe I think I think I think there was like so, so some some kind of mention of like there there there's still being at least one, but then it's like buried under the wreckage that that Mandalore once was and everything. So maybe he has to go find that. So maybe for that reason he has to go back to Mandalore. But then now. He finds out the Bo Katan is back there too, and maybe she's trying to rebuild, even maybe even without the dark saber, she's trying to rebuild um what once was and trying trying to take charge. And maybe then I think maybe like because she because she couldn't accept the dark saber from him, because then she'd have to defeat him in combat. Maybe now she's actually trying to find like a different way to actually do it without the dark saber, which I think might be twice as hard because of how much value and how much kind of you know kind of sentiment the dark saber holds and everything. But. I guess we'll see. So we just see other Mandalorians there too, like like not even just actually not even just Bo-Katan's kind of clan, but then other actual Mandalorians, even ones that that, that, that seemed reminiscent of the Watch that saved um, Din as a child, and then even even the, the even the the one kind of um, Mandalorian saying to I think I think saying to Grogu being like you know did you think your father was the only Mandalorian? So then we see plenty of we see like plenty of them. it's almost almost an abundance of Mandalorians in this new season now. So very curious to see exactly how. Um, all that stuff goes down grief car goes back to he's back um and i think I, I did i think in one shot i think i actually did kind of vaguely recognize um the scientist guy from season one i think it was the the, the actual scientist who worked for the empire who, who actually was running the experiments and stuff on grogu so i think he's gonna be coming back and he, he never dies so i think he's gonna be coming back so it'll be interesting to know like um even like um after i think maybe now that um also like maybe maybe since grogu has actually been very minimally training within the force with luke himself maybe now his kind of his Force connect connectivity is, is maybe that much stronger or that much more kind of ball honed. So maybe now they think um, coming back after him might give them better chances at actually harvesting full sensitive blood or whatever. So if they're going to still go that route. So yeah, some very exciting and very, very kind of sinister things in store. So very eager to get into this into this new season and see what it holds and i think again i think i think 2023 for pedro pascal is just honestly just it is it, just the year of him being a single dad with an adopted kid making his way across like a whole new world and discovering allies and enemies alike and everything like him being in this him being the last of us that's gonna be coming out you know it's just he's killing it he's officially he he's absolutely killing it k k killing it so cannot wait to see exactly um where this goes and 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 and, and what and what kind of what kind of good stuff that this actually offers us and everything so yeah the mandalorian season three mm -hmm. and yeah i think so far that's pretty much all there has been from d23 i think not 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 a lot of announcements or releases um to be fair i think i feel like i, I think i think I, I can't tell if, if they released everything they wanted to release at, at stcc or if they actually just go if they unintentionally or maybe just kind of go ahead of themselves and actually release like a a lot more news than they actually want to think because i think i think um because i feel like maybe it's also the fact that like um they have so much so many projects going on like so much stuff in development and so much stuff filming that it's like you know they can and also like in in in, in a certain way just can't find the right balance between what to release and how to release it too because then like um if, if they do it this way then it's like you know like because you know like the, the filming takes the longest thing time too they can't actively release any like teasers or anything and, and until something actually release worthy is ready so then then until then it's just like a, but but then even then it's like um everything they wanted to announce is already been announced but then other uh, stuff they actually want to wait like for the right time to actually do it and like um and then stuff so like actually confirming stuff like x-men or fantastic four or any other kind of actual team up movies and, 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 and talking more about the avengers stuff um you know like when the time comes for that the, the they'll actually kind of um kind of put more kind of on, on that and actually kind of explain that a bit more but until then you know we, we did get some we did still get some pretty pretty interesting stuff but i think i guess for, for some people it might still count as like underwhelming or just, or just like 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 maybe something more lackluster compared to fccc but then that one being as big as it was like like that that one was big like like they, 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 they came and came in with big announcements and big updates and and stuff for that one so yeah, uh, but either way, I think the, 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 this one was still fun. There, there was still something. There was still something. So um, you know, people can still kind of, kind of like um, be be rest assured that they're, they're actually still moving forward with like a, a lot of stuff, and they are still kind of actively working to bring stuff into the light, and when working to actually kind of um, make um, existing projects like the the best that they can be, like to 
whatever standards they kind of um work with and everything so um especially in light of recent news so there's that but regardless i think i think i think probably for me the project i'm most excited the the the, 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 the projects I'm, I'm i'm most excited about probably are going to be thunderbolts and secret invasion and I'm, I'm really cu 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 curious to test you know how how that turns out and how they managed to pull that off and everything and seeing how how um the individual kind of cast kind of get along and how they kind of um could get, get get through the story together and everything so yeah um might also be a hint for me to actually go and check and, 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 and check and, 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 and check out some of the actual kind of comic kind of backstory and origins um to those um individual stories and teams and everything so should be fun so on marvel's end i think again they kind of covered um probably whatever they wanted to cover and then and, and whatever they could cover too so they cover that end and on Star Wars too, I think, yeah, we, we got our first Mandalorian Season 3 trailer. I think that is the first and only piece of footage. I think for that one, I'm pretty sure um, also nothing was really leaked either. I think, I think the only thing I heard about in, 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 in regards to leaks was the, um, some plot details, or like some, some actual um, actual cast details were actually kind of leaked for, 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 um, the, um, for, for, the, for the Thunderbolts thing, but then I, I never really looked into those to see what those were or anything. I just kind of avoided them. And then, you know, lo and behold, I think... Um, the cast, I think the the lineup for for Thunderbolts was surprised because I'm mean, I'm pretty sure Zemo was meant to be there, wasn't he? I think the thing I think he's still around. I think Zemo is definitely still around. So I think um I don't know if uh, don't know if this was like a like like a kind of like a first draft thing or maybe if if, if like um ZZ, if Zemo like might not show up until later or maybe if if he's another one they have to actually get onto because then he also doesn't really kind of like superheroes. I think if they are really going for like a superhero kind of team thing with this, then. You know, maybe, maybe he actively, like, actively, um, actively doesn't want to be part because then even then, Sam and 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 um, I was about to say Sam and Dean, Sam and Bucky broke him out. So like, like, yeah, like, um, they 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 actively need, needed his help to catch on to the flag smashers and everything. So then he, him being against like super superpowers and super soldiers and superheroes and all that kind of stuff, he probably wouldn't want to work with a team full of them, no matter how morally we had, no matter how how more morally great they are so no telling uh when he might join them or if he might if he might join them i think it, it'll be cool to see to see him alongside them but then you know just like a, like a matter of exactly, exactly how and when that happens so there's that and then i think um i think i'm, I'm pretty sure like i'm um, in, in in the comics i think the um red hulk is actually like like a canon member too but then red hulk is also thunderbolt ross and as we know William Hurt uh, passed away um, not too long ago, so any plans they had for him probably would have been scrapped, or maybe they, maybe if, uh, unless they recast him, maybe you know I think people have been putting forward some actual recast kind of options that they can have too, but then depends on how Marvel really wants to actually move forward with that. Like if they're new thing, and I mean because then they've already kind of kind of gone to the lengths of expanding the kind of Hulk kind of roster with with She Hulk too, so. You know, then the the next day will probably be kind of I mean like and and also brought back brought abomination back into the mix, and now they're even bringing in the leader as well. So still need to find out who the hell that guy actually is and, and everything. So there's that. So then Red Hulk would not be too far off. And then if, if you know like like we were with Bruce and Hulk going back to Sakaar and everything, if, if they're gonna do World War Hulk or Planet Hulk, then maybe that could spawn into something bigger too. So I don't know. But either way, I think the 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 the, the, the lineup looks cool regardless. I'm I'm really curious as, as to how that kind of stuff is gonna roll out and everything so yeah that's on the marvel end like i said with mandalorian 2 i think i'm i'm, I'm pretty sure like the there there were no leaks that i was aware of no footage or stories or story leaks that i was aware of so they they, 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 they did a good job they, they did a good job of actually covering that stuff up and actually making it so that it was still fresh for public release and all that kind of stuff so yeah and season three looks amazing season three the, the season three looks really fun like it's gonna be really tense and it's gonna you know kind of kind of delve a bit more into din's kind of past and actually have um have him bring grogu home and actually exploring the kind of the past and the history of the mandalorians like a bit more personally and everything so um yeah we're gonna see like the importance of probably the importance of the dark saber and actually see what like um lead, leadership and like an actual kind of kind of like like a like a like a like a, a mandalorian's kind of rule and stuff actually looks like on mandalore and everything so should be an interesting time so yeah but yeah besides from that 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 that, that, that is pretty much um all the kind of coverage i can really kind of think of and everything is just they still again got some pretty decent stuff for pretty decent stuff for this d23 so 
I think I think there is one more day for D twenty three, but I'm I'm, I'm not sure that not sure that, that that that's actually for like releasing anything because then they still have panels where people can actually come on stage and talk and actually kind of do um other kind of like um talk shows and other other kind of chats and everything. But I think I think in, in terms of releasing stuff, we're pro- probably done for now. So yeah, that was this year's D twenty three. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and everything. Um, I. But I, I, I guess I, I did it. it. It felt kind of like pretty average with, with like a few kind of hidden gems here and there, but still w- w- was not by any means kind of terrible for me or anything. So I guess we'll find out um, exactly what what kind of further announcements we have in store uh, in in the coming months and everything. Because um, again, twenty twenty three is really not that far. It's, it's like a few, it's a few months. I think. Oh my god, twenty twenty three is a few months away. That is kind of a mind blowing fact. So. Yeah, wow. Hmm, these years are flying by. These years are flying by. So, yeah, not long to go. Not long to go, but not, not long to go before we can actually, actually celebrate being weeks away from these releases and everything. So, yeah, but that is it for now. So, that was my reaction and kind of my kind of thoughts on the D23 announcements and everything. So, thank you guys, as always, so much for being here and for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, then feel free to leave a like and comment on what you thought, the, on what you thought of these announcements and, and what you're all you're looking forward to the most and how you feel about this news and what you kind of wished would have been announced and, and everything and any other kind of thoughts you have on upcoming stuff. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. So, until the next time, bye bye for now.